all right what is going on everyone and welcome back to more black desert today i felt like grinding in a spot that i haven't been at in probably six months or so we're at thornwood again and i actually really like this spot just because of the environment it's aesthetically pleasing so like you know if you grind in like a desert or something it just like sand and gloomy Whereas I like the Kama Sylvia region in general. There's just like vibrant and green colors. But anyway, um, I just wanted to try Thornwood again. Just a regular one, not the Dekia. And yeah, to see what I could do again. We're going to do the Marnie Realm just in case they change anything. So I, I want to see what it's all about. And before we do that, buff up. Let me make sure to turn this on. Get my tent buff. 230. Pets are on. Dude, I hate having to think about all of this every single time. Um, scroll this. Artifacts. Check. Um, this thingy. Might as well pop this. Add that. Why not? Wait, do those stack? I don't know. All right, anyway, let's go into the Marnie Realm, do an hour, see what it's all about. And maybe we'll get a... What are those earring? Or what are those rings called again? Ominous. Okay, well, things got deleted a little bit faster than I thought it would. So my understanding is if you aren't in the Marnie Realm, you go down the hill, but... Again, I haven't been here in a while. And one thing I would like to get, if possible, is another Spectre's Energies for more Black Stars in the future. And let's see. I don't remember. Do we go down here or is it blocked off? Maybe they changed it. I know I have a video of this from a while ago. And I'm not sure... They might have blocked something off down here because things look different because I know things spawn a little bit down here as well. Oh, yeah. Hold up. Hey, this is... Oh, my God. So, Dornwood is a 250 AP zone, right? And with the recent buff to Aukman and Histria, it used to be the exact same, like, AP requirement and the same trash loot, right? Nowadays, this looking at the trash loot, it might actually just be straight up worse than history now. But the only good thing is, uh, you don't have to go into the desert. So it's like one of those things they buffed it, but at the same time, all the other 250 zones that gave similar trash loot. need to get raised as well the good thing i could actually just grind in the marnie realm because we could have 11 hours a day which means i get to test more things that i normally wouldn't have been able to or been too lazy to do But yeah, I think non Marnie Realm does a extra set of ads over here and down here. But nowadays, I think they wanted to make the circle smaller. It definitely feels different from a while ago. But yeah, if you guys haven't caught up with the video I did the other day, I think, well, I guess when you guys are seeing this now, um, I did a Kratuga video so you guys can see what that's all about because everyone's talking about it being really good. Um, I basically made about one bill there. So people are calling it the new centaur killer. But I don't think so. It's like, if you're at Centaurs and you're just, you're happy there, just stay there. 
Katuga is like one of those things where it's you just have to go out of your way to do it. Forgot I locked my uh, 100 for Katuga earlier. But if I could get a Spectre's Energies today or Ominous Ring, that would be a considered win for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Venomous Fangs. Yo, if anyone wants to run those, let me know, because I'm pretty sure I had a bunch of them from Olin's when I was grinding there a while back. So if anyone has them, you want to run them, cool by me. Join the Discord and then let me know. Also, it was a uh, boss blitz reset today, and guess what? I didn't get anything again. I'm actually convinced that like, don't need if you're doing boss blitz now, with a weekly reward, you're doing it because you enjoy doing it, not because the rewards are good. Like, if you want to make more money, just do like anything else. Go grind an hour. I also like, I've only done the Dekia one time, and that was when we had the event where you don't lose crystals. And like, it felt fine, but I just don't think that one's for me. <laughs> If I'm going to do any Dekia, it'd be Dekia Olin's and maybe Ash Forest. They had to tweak Ash Forest and Dekia a few times, actually. It's kind of almost like they don't actually test their grind spots before releasing it to the public. But yeah, I wonder if this spot is good now. It is if you want Spectre's energy, is from what I've been told. Trash loot is significantly worse than Istria now. I think it all comes down to, like, you get an ominous. You know one thing they forgot in this game? You know the Marnie wave, like the music box? I thought that was just such a good idea. Just add, like, soundtracks to various things in this game, like of all the regions that you already have. I don't see why. It's like they added it in the very beginning and then they never updated it. Oh, melee accuracy looks pretty good. I think I need that. But yeah, it's just so wild to me. There's a lot of things in this game they add once and then forget it exists. Like, um, let's see, what else? 
Marnie Wave. Various grind spots. Remember when they had the... What is that mini game that they took out of the game a while ago? The... Thing where you have to use the matchlock. I remember I, I have a video of it, but I don't remember what it was called. Oh my god. Hold up. My pets are like slow. I love still getting CC'd with resist crystals on. Oh, wow, a black leaf. If you want the helmet for your Orzeka, pretty sure Ash Forest is the place to go to get it. This one is not it. But yeah, are there any other grind spots you guys want to see? Um, now that we have the Marnie Realm, I could test a lot more stuff in peace. Not that I really think I need it, but like, I usually like to do the Marnie Realm just as a general point where everyone can do it. Like, for example, Orcs or Elvia Orcs has a lot of different um, rotations. But if we all use just the Marnie Realm as an example, Everyone is on the same page, and I know that some spots, non-Marnie Realm is actually just straight up better, like Histria, for example, uh, Achman, and a lot of other ones, I think. Depends on your class, but Elvia Orcs could be better or worse. In the Marnie Realm or not. All right, all I need to do is make like a hundred mil to recover the cost of all my like the tent buff, villas, and then church buffs and everything, and I'll be good. One specters or one ominous, and I'm, I'm good. I don't think it's worth killing that bear, to be honest. Just takes up a lot of time from the other loot. Oh yeah, you know the Arethia's Limbo? The thing where you get the Witch's Tokens for? They should really just allow you to do that without the Witch's Token. I tried doing it before and it just didn't let me in. Yeah, I just like, I like Thornwood. It may be a little bit, uh, easy for me, but the environment is really nice. It's just like, I don't know about you guys, but you grind in spots for the most silver or places that you like aesthetically.
Because I definitely felt like I could grind more hours um, in like Kama Sylvia, Dregan, Odalita. Any, anywhere but the desert, basically. Kind of ironic because I did my full on compass, but I need to go get the archaeologist map and you know, the Ulakita area really does feel like the desert, which not really stoked about that, but it is the spot to be. I should probably actually just start learning that uh, Ulakita stuff because I do want to get those Origin of Dark Hungers. This is more like end game talk, but gotta get those for building a 300 stack, and then when we slam our Pendebo again one day, hopefully I'll be on like a 15% enhance success instead of a 13. Wonder when we get to fight the like mini boss, the Dark Knight. Is that like generally once an hour on average? Yeah, so looking at the trash loot, I'm at almost 5,000 or like 4,600 in 15 minutes, which is basically the equivalent of Histria if I were to do a comparison, except the trash loot's worse now. Um, we didn't get any ominouses. We didn't even get a blue fragment. Or we didn't get a red fragment. We'll keep, keep getting blue ones. 25 blues and 4 yellows, but no reds. <laughs> the game just like, no, you're not getting any reds. I'm getting every other color but that one. Get wrecked. You know, one thing I should probably do in the future is grind paddocks because recently the other day, um, I got my first merchant ring piece and that was from Ash Forest and I think Ash Forest might actually be the easiest one to get, which <laughs> dang, but paddocks and Upper Sakraya. I heard Upper Sakraya was actually kind of pain. And that's also why I want to grind Olin's. Because that also gives one as well. So, wait, hold on. <laughs> the Merchant Ring drops from... There's five pieces. Ash Forest... Upper Sakraya, Paddix, uh, Crypt of Resting Thoughts, and Olin's, I believe. Yeah, I just need to find a group for Olin's and then do that for hundreds of hours until I get it. What is this lag?
I, I don't know why they o kept this entire area open in the Marnie realm if there's nothing there. Might as well have just walled that off too. This is my FPS. That felt really smooth. I'm like 140 here. One forty on pretty high settings is not bad while grinding. High, very high, one forty. That's pretty good. In like standing in Heidel with the same settings, I get like 90 to 100. Good enough for me. Not that it matters there. Oh, a red. That's like winning the lottery. Good news is we got some knowledge. One thing I'm not really looking forward to is grinding, uh, crypt. That place is scary and you need a lot of accuracy. <laughs> I think I might do that tomorrow. I'll do an hour at crypt just to make the video. Maybe we can get a merchant ring piece there and then it'll be over for like six months until we get the Pendebo at some point. And then we go for the belt. Twenty eight Capras so far in like twenty ish minutes. That's not bad. I think on average, though, if like location wasn't a factor, Histria might actually be better than this one just because there's a higher chance of getting like well scrolls are worth a lot if you do them and like the venomous fangs they're not bad but you have to, i feel like for them to be efficient you just have to have you know the time to do it whereas scrolls are just done in a minute Give me a Spectre's energy one time so I can make a new Black Star. I want you guys to know that my, my enhancing for Black Star, my recent one, it's kind of cursed actually. I made two 220 stacks. Which, you know, most people would think, oh, that's like, that's amazing. For me, I'm just like, I don't even know what to do with these 220 stacks. Weird flex. I, but I don't know. Like 200 just seems like a little too high to be using for most things or too low for like decent pen accessories. I don't actually know what that notification is.
I know that's the, uh, like, I know what it is, but I don't know how to activate it. Or is it just like you get that multiple times and then it does it? wave defense thing okay and then at the end you fight the dark knight trust no one not even yourself Where's the Dark Knight? Wow, all that for two Capra Stones. What a fun game. Nine Black Stones. Another blue fragment, not even red. Ah, login reward. You know, with my extra pet Debo, I feel like what I want to do with it, I want to put, I want to actually gear up another character. I know that's weird to say, but like with any extra accessories that I get, like I actually want to just leave a character somewhere and grind there. Like for example, Paddock's Island, there's like no shot. I want to bring my main there every single time I want to grind it. So if I can make like, a second set of gear or something, I would be 100% happy to do it. Oh, a red one. Let's go. You know, like, what the best thing they could do is make... Have an option to be able to move your tagged character just wherever it wants.
Wait, those respawn really quickly, actually. Maybe I don't even need to do a full circle. How often do you get ominous rings here for anyone that grinds the non Dekia version? Like one every few hours, that average. the dark night two whole capper stone Pearl Abyss needs to hire me for their like grind spot balance team <laughs> I'll fix all the spots It's almost nighttime. Maybe the drop rate will be good. Where am I at? 285. Sounds like it's above average. Oh wait, never mind. It's not nighttime. It's 9:50 a.m. I thought it was. Hey, never mind. Just kidding. The only place I'm actually like. A little bit nervous grinding nighttime is uh, like the really high end spots. I I can do Olins at nighttime. I just have to like be alert a little bit more. But like everywhere else, Dekia is a no go at nighttime. Sometimes I get bursted at Ash Forest at night, but like I can do it. Oh. Thank God. All you have to do is complain about it. Works every time. My character stopped for a second. Another red. Our ominous is still max. Uh, not max, but still like a decent chunk of change. Where the Dark Knight at? He just comma slash me. I can do that too. Recap or stones this time.
All right, well, this is a pretty good hour. No matter what, we got one ring. 300 mil. Dude, these things have, like... I swear, ignore resistances. Like, what are, what are my resistances? It's knocked down. Okay, so I need... Stiffness. Stun. Resist. I think I have those, actually. Another crystal set. God, let me buy some stiff crystals. Resist. Which one are those? Are those giants? No. Get away from me. Let me see. Adamantine. Adamantine. I just need double giants here, realistically. Or play Wusa. This is a good hour. So apparently the trick is to just complain. I definitely don't want a Hendebereka necklace next time I click it. I would love to go for another Pendebo click, by the way. I just don't have the crons for it. And they raised the price of Trons from the vendor. And now it cost me like 33 billion silver instead of 24 billion. That's not nice. Or I think it's about like 18 billion if I were to buy the costumes. But it's it's not as easy even with the change. Seventy percent. Eighty percent stun and stiffness freezing. And knockdown and bound resist. Oh god. <laughs> that froze for a second. I was like, that's not good. Freezing resist, 80% still happened.
You know, you know how in PvP resistances are capped at like 70, right? In PvE, they are not capped. So technically, I'm pretty sure I can go like 90%. I, I think I'm able to go 100 at, if I were to, like, build differently. But it's not worth the damage trade-off going Nuber, I don't think. I would have to trade off a lot of um, damage artifacts and everything for it. All right, so we got about 20 minutes left in the Marnie realm. Um, let's see. Can we get another Ominous or can we get a Spectre's Energy? One of those would be nice. It would be kind of cool if a Dark Knight had a uh, shield, but then that would just be like Valkyrie, but with a shield. <laughs> Did you guys see the new outfits coming out next week to uh, BDO for all classes? They actually kind of look really nice. If not, I won't spoil it, but they look kind of nice. I hope it's good for Dark Knights. And again, honestly, there are very few outfits or Dark Knights that don't look nice. There are a few of them, but not many. Forgot to put the lead on. I think we might get like 15, 15 to 18 K trash loot. Yeah, one more ominous in this hour. That would be nice. How much are uh, venomous scrolls worth? Assuming you random solo.
is actually a really chill rotation, though. Aside from me getting CC'd over and over, despite having, like, 80% resists. Okay, so we got, like... 60 Capris, probably, by the time we finish at least 60. Good news, this hour is... Over a billion silver. Bad news is... 600 of it came from those ominous rings. <laughs> Dude, why does this game keep giving me blue fragments? Let me just... Give me a yellow or something. Or more reds. Also, XP here kind of sucks. I got like more invaders more dark knights but yeah after we finish the hour i want to show you like what non marnie realm looks like i'm convinced like is more over there but ultimately i guess it doesn't matter to respond to so fast I didn't really I didn't really notice a difference You know how they could fix Dark Knight? Well, not really fix, but just make it on the same level as, like, Zerker's Wooses? It's not even increasing the damage. I think the damage is fine. Uh, what they would do is increase the AoE radius for a lot of the abilities. And reduce some of the skill cooldowns. That I don't think the skill cooldowns are really a big deal, but... What I would do is mostly just raise that AoE radius for, like, Wheel of Fortune. I know they raised it once, but maybe another increase would be really nice.
give all classes true damage and not whatever multiplier debuff whatever because this skill comma slash that really does feel like true damage That's why they had to nerf it a while back. It was uh, kind of OP. It was just chonking people in PvP. See how those like, things just got deleted? That's how strong that skill is. Ignores armors. All right, eight minutes left on the grind and then we'll call it. Honestly, this hour went by pretty quickly. Like, we're just chatting here, and then hour is gone. I think it's the environment, realistically. I don't feel like... It's not fatigue, but, like, the envi environment being aesthetically pleasing. How much silver did we even make from like the enemies drop silver i'm not used to that Sixty-three Capris, that's like... And then 70 Dust. It's like 220 mil. Uh-oh, Afuaru. Can we get anything good in the next five minutes? Boost that hour of silver.
I think we should... Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Easiest billion silver confirmed. <laughs> Man, if only I could do this at Ash Forest as well. Except at Ash Forest, I get one one necklace every like six hours. What did I get CC'd by? more minutes and then we are out May not have gotten any Spectre's energies this hour, but we got a lot of rings. Huge W. That thing just ate my comma slash. Got hit from the back attack. Oh god, we're doing it. I hope people have fast pets when they're doing this, because man, a lot of them. Hit me with a fourth ominous real quick. Yep, they even in the NPC version, they should increase the range of uh, enforcement. Dude, that would actually be kind of OP. Just enforcement does so much damage. All right, let me uh, get out of here. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we got 19,000 trash loot, so that's 
probably around 300 mil. Um, maybe that's... Yeah, around 90 total Capra stones. That's 300. Or a little bit less than 300. 600 from Capris and Trash Loot. Uh, I don't know how much these are worth, but we got three rings. So basically, let's just say we got about like 600 and maybe 20 mil if we don't count the accessories. But if we count the three rings as well, we got like... 900 plus 600, like 1.5 billion silver hour. Kinda wild. We really did get carried with the accessories though, so... Yeah, I would just say on average this spot is about 600 mil, and... It's very aesthetically pleasing, so I think it's a good spot, especially if you need specters. But with that said, 1.5 for me, I am out. See you guys later.